Hey dolls, welcome back to Diva Doll Flawless. Today's video is going to be a Dollar Tree haul. The first item I grabbed is this exfoliating bath glove. I actually grabbed two of these and um, the reason why I got them is because I tend to use scrubs a lot in the shower and sometimes it does get like caught under my nails or what have you. So I figure I'd just try these out and see how I like them when I exfoliate my legs and such in the shower. I grabbed this eyeglass cleaning cloth. Um, basically, I grabbed it for my son because he wears glasses and these things around here are like socks. For whatever reason, he can never find <laughs> his little cleaning cloth and it drives me nuts if he wears his glasses with spots or fingerprints or something on it. So I did grab it for him and I need to grab another one to keep in my car so that I can clean my sunglasses. They have some double-sided tape there, and I figure you can never have enough of this around, especially with the holidays coming. I'm not sure what crafts I'll be getting into, so I needed to make sure I had some. They had this Sassy and Chic nail art wheel, and um, as you can see, all of it pretty much has just spilled over to the other. So I might have to take some time to open this up and reorganize it because looking at that is just driving me nuts. More than likely, whenever I do hauls, it's really to give you guys tips or show you the reason why I'm purchasing stuff. I don't ever put hauls up just to say, you know, that I got something. Um, there's always a reason why I'm doing it. So I was in a Dollar Tree and I saw these salt and pepper shakers. And if you take a look at the size of the openings, they're pretty nice size. And I figured these will be perfect for storing your glitters inside of. And um, you could just take a piece of tape, put it over top of the holes and store your glitters inside of it. But it will also be useful because you could shake the glitter either on your nail, um, shake it into whatever container you need, or maybe if you want to mix it with some acrylics um, or really just shake it onto whatever craft project you're working on. I don't know. Um, you would have to get them and play around with them to see specifically what it would fit your needs for. But I just thought it was a great item to have. Now, while I was there, I did grab another one of their clear mugs. These are my favorite to drink coffee or tea out of. And um, even though it's wide and it's not really going to hold the heat as much, anytime I drink out of this, I always have my coffee or my tea sitting on a candle warmer anyhow because I can never sit and drink the full thing down. I'm always ripping and running doing something. So therefore, um, I grabbed this for my husband because he needed a mug for the barbershop. And this is my favorite type to drink out of. I don't know. I just like to see my drink when I'm drinking out of it. I got this silicone pot holder as a crafting surface to work on. Um, when I was using my E6000, of course, you know, it has little droplets that come out. But I had a hard plastic lid that I had laid down and the dried up E6000 peeled right off of it. So I figured I just wanted something a little bit bigger as a crafting surface that I could just pull the E6000 off of. And I figure silicone is one of the best surfaces to work on for most things anyhow. Um... But also, if you guys don't do a lot of gluing and crafting and you would like a heating surface with your curling iron or your flat irons, you could just sit this on your countertop and then as you're doing your hair, put your curling iron or your flat iron on top of it and use it as a heating surface for that as well. I grabbed these candle holders from the Dollar Tree and I got them in two different sizes. I tend to um, grab these whenever I can. The reason I got these candle holders are for a lot of different things but specifically to hold my acrylic monomer um and when i say it it's really to be in these little shot glasses now this shot glass well that's not what they call it but i got it from a wholesale place and when i looked at it i'm like that's basically a shot glass with the lid <laughs> that the nail supply wholesale is um selling it and it this is my favorite type of thing to put my place my monomer inside of it but the last time I was doing my nails I almost knocked it over so I needed a base to put my jars inside of so it's not it won't as easily tip over now I did get the two different sizes because as you'll see this one is a little too big for that one but this one is too small for this shot glass so it depends on where you get your glasses from this was a set of six and I got these from raw so this this one fits this one perfectly and then this one fits this one perfectly 
The last thing isn't from the Dollar Tree, however, I still find it useful to include in this haul. And these are finger covers. You can purchase them from any drugstore in the pharmacy section. Um, and these, I'm using them to cover my nails because I plan to put some 3D items on my nails and I don't want it to get caught on my daughter's hair. Glittered the same thing. Um, so you may not always want to wear a full glove. The finger covers, you can just simply cover one or two fingers or whatever it is that you need to cover up so that it runs smoothly through the hair. Okay, I also grabbed a huge sheet of paper like that from the Dollar Tree. And the reason I like grabbing them from time to time is because it works as a great background or surface area for your videos. This is what I use to film on top of for my cell phone case a video. It worked as a great crafting surface, but also a uh, background so you guys can see what it was that I was doing. So that's pretty much it. I hope you dolls enjoyed the video. I hope there was a tip that you could have utilized or that you at least saw something that interested you. As always and until next time, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, dolls smooches. Mwah. Bye.